Hey YouTube, JT here. We're going to take a look at what's called a pepper mace baton. It's made by Mace Security Industries. As you can see, it's attached to my keyring, making it rather practical. So you have a lot of other pepper spray uh, products, you know, I, but I don't, I don't always carry it like I should. Like Jeff from Cutlery Lover says, it's always important to have a um, pepper spray. And I agree, because not every incident, confrontation, you know, is going to require lethal or deadly force. You know, sometimes you can talk your way out of it. Or, in, or this option would be pepper spray. You know, spray the bad guy, give you the advantage, I don't know, to pound him out more or to affect your escape. So let me remove it from the keyring here so you can get hopefully get a better look at it. It's like you see it's just a coupon shape. So you can use like a coupon too, you know, for um strikes with the keys on it, you can use it as a flail. But uh let's look at the product itself. It has uh you see this bulged out area? This has what's called a wraparound safety. So right now, if, you, if I press this, nothing's going to happen. But uh, you release that. You see it? Now you release the safety, disengage it. Then it would work. It has uh, six powerful bursts. Sprays up to five feet. It's a uh, two million SHU. SHU stands for Scoville Heating Units. That's pretty hot. So the way you would use it, if somebody gets in your face, you would disengage the safety. You would hold it level towards his face, and then you press down on here. It's supposed to be a one-second burst. But uh, if any of you guys ever use pepper spray, whether it be from a can, trigger type thing, or what have you, when you're the guy spraying, it's usually more than one second. Uh, kind of brings a sadist out of some people. And that guy's, you know, unless he's immune, he's going to be in some pain. Because it affects the skin, your eyes are going to shut tightly, mucous membranes. Most guys are not going to be able to function. And there's an extreme case where the guy has to go to the hospital, emergency room. So this is, you know, like I said, convenient. And the only, um, my local shop here, gun shop, it only costs $36.95. And uh, refills. There's a way to unscrew it by the actuator area. And uh, they only run... You can make that out. Eight ninety-five. Some pepper mace baton refill. Here's the packaging for the baton itself. See, it's uh, thirty-six ninety-five, and they even have ex expiration date on it. This is used by December two thousand and fourteen. So, like I said, practical, convenient. You know, we all have to carry our car keys, house keys, locker keys. You know, whatever type of keys that you have to carry. And uh, this will make an easy segue into a, what would be a inexpensive EDC. Way below $100. So you get your pepper spray baton. You get one of these Comtech Stingers from my buddies at uh, Alpha Innovations. That's about 10 bucks, maybe 3 bucks shipping. And then... Whatever whatever your favorite knife is or your knife of choice. In this case, I have a inexpensive but then a notoriously sharp spidical tenacious. Like I said, you can always put whatever knife you prefer in there. You you know you can the expensive, add lights, more expensive knives, throw in a firearm. But this would be my recommendation as a inexpensive and a pr practical 
convenient EDC. Alright guys, watch your six. JT out.